it's already playing. It's all good. It's all good. So I wanted to do a quick uh, 10 to 15 minute word starting. So this is something different that we're going to start doing for the next to prior to the, to the end of the year. Oh my gosh, she's so loud out there. <laughs> um, but going into the beginning of next year, I want us to be able to do a potluck once a month. So this will be something good for us to do a potluck. And now those who are watching also, if you want to join us, we're going to start doing a potluck every single month, once a month. It's actually to bring us together as family. It's not just about church, being at the church all the time, but it's all about us coming together and having fun. So we'll be doing barbecues and hanging out, doing other stuff as well, like bowling and stuff like that as well, too. So I look forward to it. So, But I actually at these potlucks as well, I'll do like a 10 to 15 minute talk to keep us on track of what the word is, what's going on, and what was the purpose of us being here. So today I want to talk real quick um, to continue on our series, uh, the, the Kingdom series. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a 10-minute talk on one scripture today. And before we go there, let's pray. Father, we thank you, Father, for this blessed day. We pray that you will be with us as we receive this quick word. For every word that is quick is also a quick reminder for us to move forward in you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And um, so, okay, so, y'all don't have to have your Bibles with you guys. I'm just going to read the scripture and I'm going to talk. It's, and I'm, I'm going to open it up the floor for questions if you guys want any questions. And if you're watching as well, you can actually ask questions as well. So the scripture is Matthew 24, 14. And it says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. I'm going to read it again. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. It's one thing to preach the kingdom, but it's another thing for the kingdom to be a witness. And what do you mean by being a witness? Let me explain. So to be a witness of the kingdom of God is not all about talk. Whenever we're talking about the kingdom of God, you got people writing books, you got people preaching the word, you got people giving inspirational talk or whatever you want to call it, and they're talking about the kingdom. But when there's no evidence of the kingdom's work, there's no demonstrations, that means there is no, there's no witness. So what God is trying to tell us is that I, God is a God of a speaker and demonstrator. Do we demonstrate the power of God after we preach the kingdom of God? A lot of us don't do that because we think in that preaching the kingdom of God is all there is to, to understand people being saved by. But that's not the case because I'm going to give you a scripture. Scripture says in 1 Corinthians 4.20, for the kingdom of God is not in word but in power. So what does you mean by that? So it's basically, listen, we can talk about the kingdom of God all day, every day. But what are we doing? Are we healing the sick? Are we raising the dead? Are we casting out demons? Are we even fixing ourselves up? Like, is the power or the evidence of God's kingdom being a witness? This is what it means by having heaven on earth. Because heaven, there's no sickness. So why we're suffering? In heaven, there's no, there's no wars. So why we're fighting? Because we're not allowing the power of God and the kingdom's power to resonate us in our personal lives today in this world for us to experience what God is truly doing. So I want to give you this quick word and say, listen, if you're going to preach the word of God, preach the kingdom of God. But if you're going to preach the kingdom of God, you better demonstrate something behind it. And, that, and that when demonstrating, when it comes to demonstrating the power of God, that means walking in faith. You can only walk in faith to demonstrate the power of God. A lot of times when we say, hey, cast out demons, and we see someone who's actually demon possessed, are you going to try to say, devil be gone? Or are you going to be like, oh, that person's got a demon. Let me pray for you. See, when, whenever we say, let me pray for you, we're actually making an excuse of why we don't believe in the power of God. So we need to check ourselves in understanding what it means to literally walk as a kingdom ambassador and one who has authority of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. So I want to leave you guys with that quick word. I leave it up to questions. If you have any questions, that you guys were thinking about what, you know, what does it mean to literally true to be an example or a witness of the kingdom of God? Any questions? I like that. No questions. <laughs>
because a lot of times they would just reject. How, how do you approach that? And is it appropriate to, you know, well, what does that look like? I can halfway answer it. I know I'm asking, I'm asking for a perfect, but this is what happens. Yeah. I want to see what you have to say about that. For someone that could be asking that question. Well, I mean, well, let's think about it like this first. So if a person is asking, let me, I'm going to word it this way. If you see the issue, are you the problem solver? If you're the problem solver, then you already know what to speak. But if you, if you don't see yourself as the problem solver, you're just going to see yourself as a, a continuous of the problem. That means a person is coming to you and says, hey, I need help with a situation, but you don't have the answer to that situation. Well, you just lost a battle because you don't see yourself as a problem solver. The, be the, the answer to that problem is basically is just to help them. We didn't come here. So this is the thing. It's like, say, for instance, a person comes and says, hey, I, I got demons running around me all, all day, every day. This is what I learned. Some people will actually do this, and I've seen it. They will say, you have demons running around you all the time? So what are you doing? Are you praying? What did I just do? By saying that, I, what is it? Condescending, and it's more, and it's like, look, I just I just put on that person something they sh that they came for help from me to do when they're suffering, mm -hmm. so I'm not giving them no help, mm -hmm. so I'm not being the problem solver. So the kingdom people are problem solvers. So the kingdom people, they says, oh, you come to me for this help. They're not looking at me. They're looking at God. So they're looking at God through me. So evidently, they wanted to come to you if they didn't believe that God was in you. So if God is in you, then we need to demonstrate God's power. And that's the demonstrating the kingdom of God, not just giving a word. Because whenever we give a word, as we just read it, it says the kingdom of God is not in word, it's in power. We can give a word all day, but it's, it's going to take more than that. Now, not to say that some people can't get saved from just the word, because you can't. Because if you read in the Bible, you find that Peter, when Peter preached a lot, a lot of people were saved, filled with the Holy Spirit, just by him preaching. But that's not the evidence of the kingdom. The evidence of the kingdom is when he started doing miracle signs and wonders. That was the witnessing of the kingdom's message that he was preaching to the people. And that's how they were getting saved. So if, if we want to draw the masses to God and not to ourselves, we must first give them the word, which is word of encouragement, word of exhortation, at, at whatever God has given to you to give to that person to help them to be revived. And then two, show the manifestation of the power of God as a witness so they can believe in him. Amen. So no further questions. I want to thank you guys for joining us on this quick talk. Again, like I said, we want to do this every once a month. We have a potluck style. You'll get some videos and footage. But if you want to join us in the net potluck style, we have some great ribs that I made, y'all. Yes. And we have some steaks, some potato salad. We have potato salad too, right? Yeah, we have some potato salad and some chips and some drinks. So if you want to join us next time, you're welcome to join us. We'll be able to give you that information later. But I want to say God bless you all, love you all, and we'll see you in the next video.